Are you ready? Because he's ready. It's Master John, martial arts expert, instructor extraordinaire, and general clown. He's not afraid of coronavirus. He's not afraid of the bad guys. Master Jeff is not afraid of anything. What is up? Guys, it looks like it's just the Danos and the Wades today. We are going to proceed forward anyway. Ironically, David Gleason had wanted to learn uh, some of the fourth degree forms, which I was going to work on today. And we're also going to work on some little known forms called the Nahunchies, which are very cool. And uh, Vivian, if you have any last minute questions about your testing forms, that's cool. We can get those. But really, the Zoom classes are more um, suited for those. But pay attention because these are really fun. And if you don't get it, don't worry. As usual, the live streams are immediately available on YouTube. You go in there, click, find the part you want to see, put it in slow motion so I look stupid like this, and uh, watch it again. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and warm up a little bit. We're, we're totally warmed up. We just got through doing a hand techniques class, but the legs are not so warmed up. So let's do a few kicks and then we'll get started. All right, guys, to me, why don't you guys scoot up just a little bit? Uh, we'll do mirror image, okay? Uh, right leg back, to me. We're doing mirror image to you so that you can follow looking at us and like you're looking in a mirror. Ready? Hana! Do! Set! Net! Tase! Pavakwa! Hana! Do! Set! Net! Tase! Paddle! Uh, shake them out a little bit. Bring your right leg back. Grab that bad boy and stretch it out. Good. Other leg. Grab that bad boy. Stretch it out. Good. Good. And down to the front. Stretch it out. Good. And lean back, stretch it out, good. Turn around. All right, not much of a warm up, but we just need to do a little leg action. Okay, so uh, the Nahunchies, really cool forms. They move back and forth. They don't go forward at all. So uh, I'm gonna do it normally. Um, just to, to get it in my head, then I'll do my best to do it mirror image to you. Didn't really think about that. I should have been practicing the mirror image, but I think I can pull it off. So you can just watch one time. I'll do it kind of an academic pace. You guys can follow along, all right? So the chumi is feet together, up, and straight down. Then the first move, which looks like a chumi, but it's not, you make a big circle. And double down blocks. And then like Cordio, except you're looking right through your hands like this. Whereas Cordio, you're up here looking right under your thumbs. So there's your ready. And then the first two moves. And I'm not showing you Nahunchi you one, I'm showing you pin one. Let's keep going with pin one. Down block, outside block. And there, uh, all of that right there is unique. Um, it does not repeat in the form. The rest of the form is, is uh, bisymmetrical. It's, it's the two sides that look the same. Uh, mirror image here. So let's try it one more time. To me, big circle, big open hand down blocks, straight ahead, and then two is down block back stance, outside block back stance. Here starts a pattern, upwards elbow. And then you're gonna kick, Step down, turn around, side kick, and then middle block back the way you came, and you cut through like a big circle and do a down block. 
and then you adjust to a horse stance, inside block, back fist. And you step right over, double elbows, step right over, double outside blocks. And a side kick ready. And this next combination is both the end of the first pattern and the beginning of the second. So you do side kick, upwards elbow. Kick, beginning of the next pattern. And then the kick, turn around, side kick. Kick, turn around, side kick. And then middle block back the way you came. Cut through, big circle. Down block. And then the horse stance, inside block, back fist. Step back over. Double elbow backwards, double high outsides, side kick ready. And this time, the end of the pattern, and then one elbow strike to go one. Hey! Hey! And then back to ready. Just like that. Cool. So now, I'll try turning around and doing the forms from the back. And I'll exaggerate my hand moves so that you can see them. So we'll start right here. Chumbi, and you guys kind of go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, and this will also be one of the next pattern. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, and then seven and one. Hey! Hey! And puddle. Show. So, how are you guys doing? I think she left. She stopped right there. Well, if you're still watching, Vivian, I hope you're getting it. I'm going to attempt to do this mirror image. So I'll tell you what, Zoe and Seven, why don't you take advantage of this, Seven? You stand right there. Sure. Zoe, you stand right there facing me, and we'll try to do it. Um, uh, yeah, so then you can watch me because I'll be doing the mirror image. So right leg up. What do you do? Mm -hmm. okay. And then right leg up. So you're doing a mirror image to me. And then this way, and this way. Elbow strike. Kick. Step down, turn on the side kick. And the middle block, cut through. Down block, inside block. Back fist, step back through, double elbow, double outside. Side kick ready. Here starts the pattern on the other side. Kick. New pattern. No, you guys should be facing me. So my kids are standing over there behind the camera, um, but they were confused because they're like, that's not what you did last time. I know what I did just then was mirror image so that you can watch the screen and treat me like a mirror, except I'm a lot bigger and uglier than you probably are. Definitely bigger than uglier than you, Vivian. So uh, I'll do it again, mirror image, which means you should be going the same direction in respect to the room you're in. So if I'm going this way, you're going this way. 
if I'm going that way and you're going that way. So you can look at the screen as if it were a mirror, doing a mirror image. There's John Settle's master, Johan. Let's see what he has to say. I just did it, mirror image on my own account out of curiosity. You'd think it'd be easy because it's the same, but the beginning had me, yeah, exactly the same here, Master Settles. Hi, all right, the Cobus crew. Had some Wi-Fi problems, I read you loud and clear. After the first three, um, like when Simon came in to visit that time, we had those bad connections where the whole show was like, hey, like that the whole time. Um, I called Comcast and he beefed up our, our Wi-Fi, but he's like, look, dude, you gotta go hardwire, bro. It's so much faster. So I did, I went and got a 50 foot cord I'm thinking this, I'm a pack rat because Best Buy was closed by then. So I've got this 50 foot cord or it might even be 75, but I ran it all the way from the router in the office and here to my laptop. I didn't even know I had a, um, a Wi-Fi connection in my, uh, not Wi-Fi, um, an Ethernet port in my laptop, but I did. So we we're hardwired, baby. So we are like cooking. Our upload speeds are like twice what they need to be now. So we got plenty of headroom. So anyway, I feel your pain. So right now we're doing Pyong Wan, Simon and Amanda, and I'm doing it mirror image. So I'm gonna do it mirror image again. So um, uh, my right is your left, et cetera, just like you're looking in a mirror. Except, like I said, I'm a lot bigger and uglier than you guys are. So you two stand over there and treat me like a mirror, okay? All right. No, it shouldn't be hard. Does he just look at me and do the same thing? If I do it that way, you go that way. All right. So this is my right leg, but it's your left leg, right? So we're like a mirror. And I lift up my right leg, you lift up your left, just like a mirror. That's actually our first move, not a ready position, even though it looks ready. Now remember, this goes, you're looking right through the sun rather than the sun being over your eyebrows. Choreo, come on. And this time we start, um, usually we start on the right side. Well, you will start on the right side. I'm starting on my left. So you just do mirror image to me. And then here starts our repeating pattern. Hmm. Kick, turn around, side kick, middle block, cut through, down block, pull back and chamber this hand, inside block, back this. Note the change to a horse stance. And step over, double elbows, double high outsides. This should be 45 degrees. This is straight up and down. And the side kick ready. Now we're going to both end the first pattern and begin the new one on the same combination. So end, beginning, and then kick, turn around, side kick, middle block, cut through, down block, inside block, back fist, double elbow, double outside. Now we end the pattern, and then one elbow strike to grow on. So kick, and then back to red. Cool. So that is Pyong Wan, our, um, the Korean, the Kuki Wan, the World Taekwondo Federation, um, fourth done form. So let's go ahead and try um, Shuju, the South Miami Taekwondo, fourth done form. I am not doing mirror image right now. I'm doing it the way it's supposed to be. I'm wondering if I can do this mirror image, Master Settles, but we will soon find out because I will try it. Um, the thing with the shuju, shuju means uh, master and student, teacher, student, whatever. And um, they actually used to travel like that, like a, a, a master and a student would like walk Japan together. And... Uh, they would be called a shuju, a teacher and student team. And why they were vagabonds traveling around, I don't know. But uh, that's what they called them. Master Cat Fitzgerald, my Aikido instructor, did all this research. 
and uh, suggested the name for the form, which I really liked, and suggested a couple of the moves for it. But anyway, um, so with becoming a master, you, um, you do a lot of serving, as you black belts have probably already figured out. And that is the role. I mean, what are you going to do? How many new forms are you going to learn? How many new ways can you kick? I mean, Master Settles has delved into uh, all the Chinese arts. And I'll bet what he's found is, uh, it's, you know, they're cousins. And as you climb to the top of the mountain, they kind of get to be the same. Even though Aikido is a completely, totally different art than Taekwondo, at the top, it all amounts to the same thing philosophically and even body motion wise you're, you're using the same principles so um what do you do as you get on up there well you serve and so as a master by the time you get to fourth degree this form uh, expresses that so at the end of uh, what i'm called what i decided to call every count you uh you serve you have your hand out and open you're serving you're serving you're serving and at the very end, you end up serving yourself. And typically, the left hand is traditionally your, um, your giving hand, like you give with your left hand, and you receive uh, with your right. Uh, or do I have that backwards? You give with your left hand, receive with your left. Yes, that's what it is. Sorry. Um, but uh, anyway, the, the point of the whole form is that every, every move or series ends with your palms up because it symbolizes giving. Because if you haven't figured out giving, by the time you're first, second degree, you're going to quit. And a lot of people do. I've had black belts come to class and like Anna Barbara was teaching, who's a first degree or whatever. Or maybe she was a red belt at the time. And this one particular black belt said, I just, I saw Anna Barbara was teaching and I just turned around and left. Because, you know, who's going to teach me anything now besides you? And I'm like, well, dude, uh, who teaches me besides the students? There's nobody here that has any less than 10 years uh, behind me. You know, most people are like 20, 30. The people who started this month are 30 years behind me. Master Settles, he's way up there. I think he's like 20 years behind me. And guess what? I learn from Master Settles all the time. Anybody who can't learn from Master Settles is not watching closely enough. Anybody who can't learn from a white belt is not watching closely enough. So what this black belt was missing who ended up quitting is the fact that it's not about coming in and learning a new form. How many new forms are you going to learn, bro? Come on. It's not about learning a new kick. How many different ways can you kick? Your leg joints will only move so many different ways. It gets to be about giving. Had this person had a black belt attitude, they would have come to class to help Anna Barbara teach or to experience her teaching. You know, and that would have been their class. What do you think my class is every day? It's helping people learn. You know, helping my kids to learn, helping the Kovases to learn. And I learn from the Kovases, and I learn from my kids, and I learn from Soren. Because it's a new way of learning, but she, she just didn't figure that out, and she's gone. And you know what? If that's her attitude, I don't blame her. If you're looking for the next secret back fist, dude, three, five years, if you hadn't figured out that you're not going to find it by then, then you probably should leave. And she did, and, and, and that was just, uh, that's, that's the way it goes. Anyway, um... Uh, so we'll do Shuju now. So it starts uh, similar to um, Kim Wan, except that we're giving. So we've got our right hand up, we're giving, right? So let's try it one more time. Chu Yi. And we're giving. And this sets us up for the first move which is our Kokyu Nage. So we're bending our knees and we're pushing in Kokyu Nage. And then this back hand is going to come back chamber and come around for what's called an Aiki Undo. Aiki Undo. And we flow through for what's called a Sayu Undo. And now I'm off the screen. Sayu Undo, big circle. And then the ocean wave crashes. We keep circling for what's called an Udafuri Undo, which is a high block. And then we contain Uke's arm around for an Ikkyo, which flows right back into another Kokunage. And I'm going to back up a little bit because I keep stepping off the screen. 
So let me even start way over here. So to me, forever serving, because our life is serving. Kokunage. Flow through. Aikiyundo. Flow through. Sayundo. Flow through. Udafuriundo. Flow through. Kokunage. Flow through. Aikiundo. Flow through. Like a big ocean wave. Sayun. Flow through. Udafuriundo, which is a high block. Catch the elbow. Take him down for an ikyo. And you're back to Kokunage. Now, this is flowable. This is flowable, or rather, um, uh, what do you call it in music sequencing? Um, uh, like a pattern, a repeating pattern. You can sequence it, for lack of a better term. You can just keep going because it ends with a kokunage on each side, which flows right into the next part. And in the form, of course, you stop on one of those kokunages and continue with the next part of the form. <laughs> but you can just cycle this over and over and over, which you should. So um, let's back up a step and describe those undos that I kept talking about. And an undo in Japanese uh, just means uh, like an exercise. You can do a shomenuchi undo, where you just keep practicing shomenuchi. And um, these things, uh, I don't know the Japanese translations for the words, but I know the words and a trick for how to remember them. So the first one is kokunage. This one. Which is um, a three seven seven. So let's say seven has got oh it's the best angle. I think right there. He's grabbing my right hand. I'm grabbing him back and cutting over like a sword. And then I'm coming under here and I'm splitting his center like that. So let go seven. So there we are. And of course, uh, any form is a is a, a stylized, regimentized um, version. Of a, of a technique. So, you know, a punch like this, when's the last time you saw anybody in sparring or self-defense punch like this? Well, it's formalized. And it's the same thing. You don't do um, a kokunage like this, but it's formalized. And it's also taking Aikido, putting it into a Taekwondo form, but you saw the technique, that's essentially what it is. Okay, so we have the kokunage first, and then an Aikiyundo is just a Tenkan, uh, a tenkan step, which I hope you guys know, you step forward, other leg steps back. Step forward, other leg steps back. And as we go, we catch whatever's coming at us, and we flow it through like this. We just let it go past us. Here it comes, we're taking it down, and letting it slide right past us. Taking it down, letting it slide right past us. Taking it down, letting it slide right past us. Let's do it from the front. Taking it down, letting it slide right past. Taking it down, letting it slide right past us. That's the Aiki Undo. And a Sayu Undo is like a great big, um, uh, what would you call it, Kokunage, I suppose. Um, so, seven feet, sir. He's here. And I'm just kind of bowling him over, whoa, like that. And then you're flowing right through. And you're doing it, I think you said. So we're doing it as we cross our legs. So when your legs are crossed, it's like a big ocean wave crashes down. And then you come up, and the ocean wave starts right there. It looks kind of like our, our logo back there, right? And then the other way, up, ocean crashes down. And then there's your way. Up, the ocean crashes down, and then there's your way. Up, the ocean crashes down, 
and that is Sayu Undo, S-A-Y, it's either O or U, I'm not sure, probably in Japanese it's a combination of O and U, but um, um, Gerard Now, a good buddy of mine in Aikido years ago, said that the way he remembers it is Sayu Sidewinder, so you're going side to side, so Sayu Undo, Sidewinder Undo, and that's the way he remembers it. Okay. So we have Kokunage, and then Aikiyundo, and then Sayu Undo, and then a high block, followed by Udafuri Undo, which is you're high blocking somebody on a seventh feet, sir. Seven's chopping me with his left hand. He's chopping me with his left hand. I'm blocking, catching his elbow, doing a ten con, and taking him down this way. So up like that. And uh, let's do this one. Uh, thank you, Seven. Let's do this one just by itself. Uh, it's another ten con. So we're coming up, around, and down. Up, around, and down. Let me stand with my back to you. We're coming up, around, and down. Up, around, and down. Let's do it from the side. Up, around, down. Up, around, and down. And uh, old Gerard now, he had another, he had another pointer uh, for remembering this one. Um, Udafori Undo sounds like Lou Ferrigno Undo. And Lou Ferrigno was, of course, a bodybuilder. So he, uh, Gerard said he always imagined, showing off my muscles, <laughs> which you're not. But it just looks like it. The gesture kind of looks like it, and it's enough to trigger, wait, Lou Ferrigno Undo, oh, Udafori Undo. So that's the way he remembers Udafuri Undo. So that's uh, U D A F U R I, Udafuri Undo, U N D O. So um, let's put them all together. So I'm going to start way over here. Kokunage, Chamber, Aiki Undo. Sayundo, the ocean crashes. There's the wave. Keep cycling for a high block. Udafuri, Luferigno, Undo. Up and around. You cycle that right through to another Kokuna. And uh, guys, you guys take a break for a minute. Let me do it from back here. Uh, you won't, I won't be as close, but maybe you can see the whole thing. Um, done like it's supposed to. Kokunage, Aikiyundo, Sayundo, High Block, Udafuriundo, twist right through, Kokunage. And then we do it again. Aikiyundo, Sayundo, High Block, Udafuriundo. And we're right back where we started. Okay, so that's uh, the Tai Chi portion of the thing. So you guys can come on back up. So after our ready position, we start there. After the Tai Chi portion, we end there. So after we end there, we're going to do a move similar to Pyong Wan, but it's a step turnaround side kick. So in Pyong Wan, two different leg kicks. Pyong Wan, right, turn, left. In this form, in Shuju, you do right, step, turn this way, and right. And then down block like that. Making sense? <laughs> kind of strange, huh? 
Uh, okay, so let's do the whole thing from the. Wait, let me check something first. I'm going to stop here. Oh, there's something else very important. I'm sure Mr. Suttles is going, Master Jeff, you're forgetting something. I am. So after we do um, this, we step through. Because we're going to head this way. And that is when you kick, step down, turn around, side kick, middle block, cut through, down block, inside block, back fist, open. Because remember, we're serving on every move. And you flip it over, nikyo. Flip those over, nikyo. Let it cut on through. Ridge hand, outside pair. Ridge hand, outside pair. Let's go over that again. So we, four people. Wow, we've got a great audience tonight. All right, so we ended right here. I'm going to get over here. Ended right here where we started. We step through. And we kick. Remember, one leg is going to do, right leg is going to do both kicks. So we kick, step down, turn around, kick, middle block, cut through, down block, inside block, back fist, just like in Pyong Wan. Open, because we're serving. Flip it, somebody grabs your wrist, you trap it, Nikyo. They're grabbing this wrist now. Nikyo. And I cut on through. Ridge hand, parry. Ridge hand, parry. Then I adjust my stance back to here, and I step through again. Now it's time for the left leg. Kick, step down, turn around, side kick, middle block. Big circle, down block, inside block, back fist, open, because we're serving. Somebody grabs, Nikyo, flip it over. Somebody grabs, Nikyo, cut it on through. Ridge hand, shoo, parry, ridge hand. Parry. Then you do like Prince. Back to ready. Notice the left hand is on top this time because I'm feeding. I'm serving myself. And that is very important. Um, as you uh, get in this new black belt way of life of serving, uh, it's easy to jump too far that way. So yes, I need to serve. I need to be more concerned with these guys learning their next forms for fourth degree and for third degree uh, than I am about myself. And I am very concerned. I'm, I'm concerned with the next kid learning his white belt form. But what kind of instructor am I if I can't do my forms, you know? And just the other day, I was really upset at myself, I have to admit and share with you. Uh, I was doing um, the, the Joe form, kanji. And there's a brand new video of Kanji up there. And that was, I was motivated to do that because I screwed it up during a live stream. Because I hadn't practiced it mirror image the wrong way. There is no wrong way, but not the way it was written. I hadn't practiced it enough to, to pull it off just like that. So what did I need to do? I needed to serve myself. And why did I need to serve myself? So that then I could serve you by doing the form mirror image just like that the first try so um that's why at the end of the form all this whole time you've been serving serving and at the, the very beginning of the form you have right hand on top because you're serving into the form you have left hand on top and you're serving yourself to make sure you can do the forms mirror image so that i can right hand on top serve my students so uh, let me, you guys, take a break for a second. Let me burn through the whole form for you, see if I can pull it off full speed. And somebody just said something. Hi, I'm back. What's up, Julia? I love that trick. Can you guys tell I do it like every live stream? I do it all the time. The kids in the house, the first time they were like, ah, ha, ha, ha. the second time they're like, ah. now they're like, dad. 
Please, that is so stupid. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to stand way back here. Hopefully catch the whole thing without any adjustments. So here we go. Shoot you. Shoo-choo. Okay. There's a um, very challenging balance form, as you can see. I lost my balance down there somewhere. And it's such a wide form. It steps so far. Um, I'm going to try it again from even farther back at the risk of you not seeing any details. Let's see if I can't pull out the whole thing. And I had a little slack on this side, didn't I? I, was, I had a little space over here, maybe not here. So let's see what happens. That's a little better, even though it was a long way off. But that is uh, uh, shuju. Okay, let's see. We have a right. Can only stay for a couple of minutes. Come on, dude. Yes, sir. Okay. So we got Vivian. Did Vivian leave? Or are you still here digging along, Vivian? All right, guys. That is actually a good stopping point especially since we don't have we had like a ton of black belts saying master jeff master jeff i need to learn my whatever form okay cool but um we're gonna go ahead and bail out of here so guys come and help me say goodbye thank you for coming to black belt class good luck with pyong wan and shuju and we will see you later!
This has been a self blaming hyper the live stream with Master Death. Avoid practicing the techniques you learn in live stream with Master Death. I'll run, stone, slash, tipsy, buzz, blotto, slammed, plowed, jolly, play, I'd hammered, wasted, you created, or otherwise intoxicated. Watching live stream with Master Death, you announce the possibility of it. We've all laid a for you. Mental last direction of simple fracture, broken those with human dignity, or dislocation, strain, or strain, or hyper extended elbow, broken ribs, bruising, or waiting, care, strains, fractures, dislocated, shoulder, or concussion. All rights reserved. Unauthorized presentation and publication strictly prohibited.